Okay, for uh, this next training, what we're going to be doing is talking about installation um, configuration of the antennas. And so every one of the antennas ships with uh, the installation uh, instructions. It's important to follow this step by step. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take the pieces. So inside the box you'll have the ring with bolts. You'll have the vertex mounting plate. You'll have the feed horn. Uh, the feed horn will be different per uh, frequency that it operates at. So this is a uh, 23 gig and you can see the difference between that and an 11 gig. So feed horns are going to be unique to each one. They're basically the same size. This looks like it would fit directly on this on the vertex plate. What we're going to do is just follow through the instructions. It's really straightforward. Uh, first step is make sure we have all the parts. Find the grease, the lithium grease. Grab yourself a 2.5, uh, that's the torque wrench, so it's 2.5 nanometer uh, meters. And what we're going to do is grease up. We're going to apply the vertex plate. Again, it goes to the inside. There's only two bolts. There's actually, you can see there's, these screws are already in. So really, there's only one way this thing can actually be uh, be inserted. So what we're going to do is literally uh, apply it like that. Take your Allen wrench and tighten down your, your screws into the appropriate. You have to just align them right. There we go. Literally, it's not it's not much difference than doing your director set. At this point, you've got the vertex plate, mounting plate attached. Again, you want to torque these down. The other side, <coughs> we now apply the actual, the horn. Now we've already put in the O-ring. It's important that when you put in the O-ring that you do apply um, some lithium grease to that. We want nice airtight seals. Notice there's a keyed pin right here that matches this hole. So once you mount that in there it settles down and now it's just applying those screws. Okay it's important to know <clears throat> when you actually pull the feed horn out there is a piece of tape across that this must be removed before actually applying this before inserting this. If you don't remove it you're gonna have problems. Now this is takes patience once we get that in we uh, cinch those down So we've got the feed plate, the feed horn mounted on the vector plate. We need to take the radio aperture guide. So basically the feed horn off uh, this, uh, the radio will actually will be inserted right into this location. So this actually provides the guide for it. This is a CI uh, specific component and we're going to be tightening this down okay so what we have here is the radio that we worked on uh, previously we've got the antenna branching unit installed it's cinched down um, uh, to the appropriate uh, with the appropriate torque settings I've got my OMT You'll notice here that again the aperture on the OMT is circular and if we compare that to the to the aperture on the antenna we'll see that the exact same size 
and you can see this guide fits right over that OMT. So that's actually how we're going to go ahead and deploy it. Now you will notice that I've got horizontal and vertical markings and so we want to make sure that we're actually aligning that correctly with the radio. So on the radio you can see there are vertical and horizontal markings as well. So we want to make sure that when we put the radio on that we're actually going to apply that to the appropriate location. Now this doesn't have the antenna mounting bracket applied but I wanted to show you that this literally just fits on just like that. There is supposed to be an o-ring in here. That o-ring we want to uh, make sure that we apply lithium grease to as well. That seats against this and that's how that whole thing uh, actually gets um, gets deployed. Okay. Alright, so what we have here is we have the antenna mounting bracket uh, applied to the radio, so I've installed it on the radio. I've got my OMT branching unit is installed and torqued down appropriately. There's torque ratings on all of these. Okay, now we can see how this mates to that antenna branching unit. So again, if I were to take my and apply it just like that, you can see here, bolts go through here, cinch in here. Okay? So when you install it, you pop it on and you rotate it in and then you'll have the bolt up on the top side. This bolt up here is where I can actually tighten and loosen it. Okay? So again, this, there should be uh, a, a o-ring with lithium grease that's seated right here that creates that nice weatherproof seal. Okay, so this actually goes inside the antenna. Get this out of the way. Alright, so the antenna, as we look at the antenna, you can actually see the H and V markings on it. Okay, this is a two foot dish. And if we look at the feed horn, we also see the vertical and the horizontal markings. And so when we insert that into the dish, or the V matches the V and the H matches the H. And so at this point, I'm literally ready to. Okay, so depending on what you have from a standpoint of in the field, this is literally the way it goes. All right, so you can see this is how I attach. So now at this point, I've got other components. You'll notice here it actually is going to spin more like this, as this is my drip hole on the bottom of the antenna. You can see the drip hole there. You want that uh, at the bottom. Okay, so this is uh, my complete um, com you know, radio mounting brackets, everything that I need to mount this onto the antenna. So this is what it looks like. Depending on what you've got up top, you can, um, you can basically bring this up intact bring it up to the top of the tower. Obviously, if you're doing that, you want to have your aperture covered. The antenna as well. When you when this ships, there's actually a piece of tape over that. You probably want to keep that covered as well until you're up on top of the tower and you're actually doing the installation. So it's going to look something like that. Before you install the radio, make sure you remove the tape. Okay? That provides uh, protection for that aperture. Okay, so next we're going to be actually going into the antenna bracket. So again, these instructions are all here. You'll notice up in the upper left-hand corner, do this work on the ground, not when you're up on the tower. Okay, we're going to walk through these directions. So now we have uh, the actual mount. And so again, uh, this is a, a two-foot mount. Uh, again, we're going to be working on the ground. The first piece we want is the actual uh, clamp casting. That looks like this. Okay. 
You can see on the antenna how it, how it actually is applied. Okay. Okay. So there is a left and a right orientation. And you can actually see here there is uh, there's actually light in these. So this indicates a right orientation. A okay, so, so if we look at the pieces, I've got components of my, actually my uh, pipe mount brackets. Okay, I'm going to be installing these. So there's lock washers, there's plastic washers, and everything that you need, the clamp casting here, this is uh, the components that will be going in. They show up something like this. All right, so this is my clamp. And my actual, the overall uh, V-bolt, okay? So all of these components are required. They don't ship anything that's not required. So what we're gonna be doing is just walking through this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this clamp casting and we're going to apply the first two bolts. So again, I don't have it installed on the antenna at this point, but what I'm going to do is take this in the, as the drawing shows, and we're going to basically apply a bolt. All right. And this actually had, they want you to have a five millimeter gap so a little bit of play basically do the exact same thing on the other side and they do recommend greasing these components just so that if you need to remove them uh, you certainly can okay so I've got both of the bolts installed as shown in the drawing I do have some I do have a gap so these are finger tight don't need to cinch them down yet. Okay, then according to the orientation, I'm gonna put on my bracket. Okay, so I've got my actual bracket here. This is going to go on, okay? And I take my bolts, and this is a double bolt configuration. Now this only goes on one side. All right, so in essence, I've now completed step three, and we're gonna go on to step four. So step four is gonna be the fine tuning uh, components. We've attached uh, the pull uh, bracket, the clamp. We're now ready to install it on the antenna. You'll notice I've got these three slots. I'm gonna have three bolts, ultimately, that are going to be inserted. So we're going to attach this to the dish. Okay. And I'll be applying my first bolt. You can see it actually fits in on the back side. You can see here, I'll be applying two washers and a bolt. Okay, the washers bolt okay. okay so I've now got the bolts applied you can see three bolts the bracket is mounted my pipe component my uh, pipe clamp is is mounted okay so the next piece is really our alignment uh, our alignment components and so what we're going to be doing is inserting these into the radio You'll notice it goes on the top side which you can see in the antenna is up here, so this is literally where that bolt's going to go in. You can see here that I'm actually just installing this pathing alignment componentry. It takes a little bit of time, so we're just going to screw it down. All right, you can see that I'm applying Componentry. Now I'm getting down to the point where it's just about I'm just doing finger tightening just to show you. 
It looks like a lot of parts when you start, but at the end of the day, it's, it's not that bad. If you can follow the directions in the, in the sheet that is sent along with the antenna, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, so next up is the V-bolt and the second clamp casting. Okay, so we've got uh, the alignment components completed. We've done the V-bolt bracket and assembly as described in the instructions. And ultimately, really, the next step is then mounting this on a pole. So, Okay, so we now have a pole mount. This is a uh, waveguide component. Normally, this would have our standard radio attached to it. You can see there's a plus or minus 5 degree right here. And you can see the vertical markings, horizontal markings. And by loosening these bolts and adjusting, I can adjust my polarization so that it's level and you can see here as the bracket is actually attached to the pole how that piece goes together so you've got the you've got the V bracket on the bottom uh, the center pipe mount bracket attached through the component that's bolted to, to the actual antenna and again the radio just attaches off this back end so that's what an assembly looks like. So thank you very much for your time. If you have any questions, please call us at the number on your screen. Thank you very much. Have a great day.